Mattel has been relentless with the color changers line over the last couple years, which I'm actually really happy about because the line took a massive hiatus. It actually took two from 2012 to 2015, no color changers. From 2017 to 2020, no color changers. So I'm super happy that they are back and in full force. These are five of the newest ones. They actually are pretty much the five newest color changers that Mattel has done over the last 12 months. The newest being Fillmore and Cruising McQueen behind them, the king behind him, Sheriff, and then Bobby Swift and H.J. Hollis kind of came out around the same time. I don't have H.J. here today, but that's okay. Five is plenty. And then the next wave will include Snot Rod and Intro Ramon. So when those come out, I might do an unboxing or wait for a little bit and then have a mega unboxing relative, a relatively mega unboxing once they release a few more, which we don't know who those will be. Hopefully though, the line continues in the 2022, but those are the last ones we know of, but we're not gonna focus on them today. We're going to be satisfied with what we have here. I'm really excited about Fillmore. I'm so happy they finally did a color changer for Fillmore. But if you guys aren't used to like these types of videos, I'm actually going to open them all up and then test them in the water and see how well they actually shift colors. So Fillmore is supposed to go to a dark blue. I even love how they make the artwork like half and half. I'm so excited for Fillmore here. He looks great. They even do like the name tag in the appropriate colors. So that's really cool. The last video I did on color changers, I'll leave that link in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. You guys seem to love that video. So I wanted to make a point to do another unboxing. I really wish I had HJ here as well, I guess to make it a larger one, but that's okay. The last one featured pretty much all the wave one color changers when they reintroduced the line. But anyways, yeah, Fillmore here. Cold water makes him the dark blue. Warm water makes him back to the regular teal Fillmore. Love the artwork that they do for this, by the way. It's always very vivacious, very vibrant. Looks really good. Now here's the king. His color shifting isn't as exciting. It's basically this color, this dark navy blue, almost black, back to his normal color. So not very drastic there, but still, he actually looks really cool. I like the expression they gave him. It's a little different from his normal one. And we will compare the color changers to the die cast once we open them all up. I don't like how the spoiler isn't affected by the color shift. Like it doesn't have that same built-in plastic, you know, it doesn't shift colors. And actually they refer to him as Strip Weathers, AKA the King, El Rey. Now here we have Bobby Swift. He goes from his normal lavender. Now this actually looks a little lighter than his typical color to a black. So that'll be pretty neat to see. I wonder who makes these images. Like, I wonder like how they do it. Like, is it as simple as like photoshopping in this image or do they actually go through a little bit more of an intense process? Do they take like a picture of the color change version? Again, do they computer generate from ground up? I'm sure they just Photoshop this here. In which I could do that. A lot of people could do that. <laughs> here we have Sheriff who has a really nice color change. You go from a bright cherry red to black. So two very different colors there. Sheriff. So again, cold water is black, red is the warm version. Now you can't always go by like the same metric here. If you're saying like, if somebody says, okay, all the cold colors are their normal versions. That's just not true as you can see here. So definitely be careful, you know, when thinking about that here, again, not the case. Bobby Swift, not the case. So Sheriff is the first one that actually deviates from the trend that we had going there. Let's see what Cruising McQueen's all about. So he also goes from black to red, but instead of red being the new color, black is. So Sheriff's actually the only one in which the warm color is the special different new color. So that's kind of interesting to think about. 
I don't know if like the warm color has to be like, it has to fit within a certain color palette. Like it has to be, you know, within like a certain, I don't know, like computer metric in which the palette only, you know, includes a certain amount of coloring. I really don't know. It's hard to say. It does seem that like all of these ones are darker. Like all the cold colors are darker. You know, the blue, really dark purple, black, black, black. Yeah, it must be that. That would make sense, I guess. Now what's kind of interesting about this stock image is that he kind of has some black residue on the bumper and tail area there, which is interesting. It's almost as if they didn't finish computer generating it. They didn't put the finishing touches on it. It's almost like they Photoshopped this guy into this which is possible because this isn't your typical like Cruise and Lightning McQueen stock image, whereas this is like the typical Bobby Swift one that they use for the die casts. This is not the one they use for, yeah, actually for all of these, they don't use any of the stock images for the die casts except for Bobby Swift's. So that's interesting. I'll be right back though with all these guys opened up. So we have everyone ready to rock and roll here. We're going to compare them to their 155 scale die cast versions. Once we're done testing them in the water for a couple of reasons, I want to maintain the temperatures of these, like as this is still pretty cold and as this is still pretty warm, we're going to take advantage of that. Plus some of these guys are not in their correct colors to compare. So we're going to edit that for Sheriff the King and Cruz before we compare. Anyways, Exact same thing as last time. Dynacomia over here indicates that this is the cold submergence tank and regular Mia slash Tia indicates that this is the warm submersion tank. Super excited to get into this. Am I worried that these seem like stickers on the eyes? Yes. Does that mean I'm going to hold back when testing the full potential of these color changers? Absolutely not. Let's dive right in, no pun intended. My least favorite, I think, anticipatedly so, is Bobby Swift. So we're gonna start with him. We're going to put the normal version just in the back there. You can kind of see him, you can kind of not see him. We're gonna live with that. All right, so let's see here. Let's do some calculations. So Bobby Swift currently is in his warm color, which means we need to dip him in this tank. To see anything happen let's hope it's still cold enough oh yeah baby it's cold enough all right i'm a little worried about the eyes they totally do look like stickers there as you can kind of tell it is not looking too good so we're going to use a paper towel and actually dry him off a little bit before we take a closer look at him hmm. God, they actually put stickers on here. I did not think they did that. Yeah, you could tell that the hood decal is a sticker as well. These are not stickers. It looks like this is a sticker back here, and that's why I kind of stayed the lavender color almost. Let's see if I can try and change that. Uh, it doesn't look like it. He looks good in black, though. Oh, now see, we lost a little bit here. Oh, if we just got to rub it a little bit. And yeah, now he's back to black. Okay, cool. He looks good in black. I do like how these decals look pretty solid, you know, all things considered as a color changer, like the contingency sponsors look good. And these look good too. I just really didn't think that they would be stickers. Like what made them decide the hood and the eyes are going to be stickers, but everything else, you know, besides that is going to be a decal. I don't really get that. There is the base. Made in Vietnam, right? Yeah, made in Vietnam, okay. Cool. Using screws instead of rivets because they're plastic cars. You can see how sensitive he is just by my the warm touch of my hand. He's already starting to turn back a little bit yellow. Yellow, I mean lavender. 
Let's do a little half and half action with him. Changes pretty fast. Ooh, now that looks cool. That's kind of a cool paint job. We're gonna leave him at that. Although, see, the black is coming back so quickly. Ooh, I like that. I like it. All right. Up next, Cruise and Lightning McQueen. So now this guy is in his warm. So now we have to put him in here. Oh. Even though this is his normal color in the movie and all that, it actually looks really cool. It's a little bit lighter. Obviously not metallic as well. So he also looks like has a sticker for the eyes, but it's holding up a little bit better. And obviously it's easier for this guy because he has barely any decals. This is the only decal he would have. No bumper stickers though, and that's okay. It looks pretty good. Good expression and everything. Nice. Let's try half and half on him. It's taking a little while for the black to come back. There we go. Mm, now that's cruising Lightning McQueen right there. A whole new take on cruising McQueen. Look at that. So you can see the like warmth of my palm, but it quickly goes right back to black. Isn't that neat? Science guys, that is science. Disney Doc at the Science Guy. All right, Sheriff, you're up, my guy. What state are you in? You are in your warm state, so you need to go into this tank. God, that's actually still pretty cold water. He's taking a while to change back to fully black. Actually, when I had him sitting at the bottom, he was kind of, the edges were still red, but then when I pulled him out, he quickly became all black. But it's really not all black. It's a very reddish brown, actually. Which is tough, you know, it's tough to like maintain a very pure absolute color as in black. So he looks pretty good, all things considered. Oh, that look, that side looks pretty black. The roof looks a little bit more red. He doesn't have any stickers at all. I guess the eyes are still stickers, but still pretty good. Ooh, they even maintain the license plate, 001, Carburetor County. They didn't do the antennas, come on, man. How could you not do the antennas? How disappointing. Half and half, we'll do the back half this time. Oh, that changed fast. Ooh, kind of reminded me of a video game paint job for Sheriff now. You can see how some of the water dribbled on back and maintained the cold color. Yeah, my hands <laughs> do so much changing them as enough. All right, let's move on to the king. King is in his warm state, so he's got to go in here. Nice. Quick change. Let's see how many stickers this guy has. Looks like he took on quite a bit of water. Seems heavier. Yeah, the eyes... That's it though. Hood decal is a decal. That's good. Printed on there. Contingency sponsors look pretty crisp. Silver rims. I like it. It looks good. I don't know what's going on with that little like corner of the eye there that is like still the original color, the darker color. I don't think that's ever gonna change. Hmm, interesting. Half the half. Oh no. Okay, so you gotta shake it around there a little bit. You can't just hold it. Because as you can see, when I was just holding it, it barely changed at all. But then I shook it around a little bit and he quickly changed to the darker bluish purple, which he looks pretty good in. Half and half too. All right, last but not least is my hopefully favorite filmer. I hope he changes nicely because then I'll be very disappointed. We gotta put him in the cold tank. He's going in with the cold sharks. It's like everything's a decal, except for the eyes again. All right, we're gonna let him float and kind of jiggle around in there. Fillmore's swimming. Fillmore's swimming around. All right. So it's not quite as pure blue as the card back suggested. 
It's a little bit more of a greenish blue, but it looks really good. You know, it's so interesting to see Fillmore in a different color other than his typical turquoise teal. He looks really good. I like it a lot. He actually is pretty dark blue head on there, but you can see the roof. It's a little lighter. The rim still matches the original color, though, and I really don't expect them to change. I do expect that spoiler to change. It's kind of ludicrous that they didn't make that spoiler part of the color shifting technology. Yeah, all these decals are pretty clear, considering it's a plastic car. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, guys, let's get everybody in their normal colors and do a little comparison. Briefly, of course. All right, easily back. And we're going to use this Vietnam Radiator Springs, like Welcome Radiator Springs release of Fillmore. This is technically the glow in the dark one, I think. Just a couple quick 360s. They did kind of give this one a different expression, which I appreciate. Ooh, a little bubble action there. Do you guys see that? Let's see if I can recreate that. Hmm. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, here's another Vietnam the King from that NASCAR 5 pack. Which reminds me, they should start doing some more characters as color changers. Some more odd characters, like maybe Mario Andretti or Junior Moon. The King and Fillmore were great, though. You know, obviously new characters, but Sheriff and, you know, Lightning McQueen have been done several times in the past. Now, Bobby Swift is kind of cool, though, too. Although I would steer away from cars with a lot of decals like that. Fillmore is okay because he's like a main character, but I would steer away from cars like Bobby Swift and the next gens. I would much rather go for cars with a lot of open space. Like for example, van and mini, like they just are one, you know, you don't have to worry about decals and stickers. They are just one color, should be super easy. Here's a Vietnam Sheriff. Wait, what am I doing? He's not red, come on. Come on, Disney docket, shake him around in there if you guys are having trouble getting him to revert to the cold color. Spin him around. Bam, he's chilling now. Nice. So they actually, they omitted that sheriff decal. That's kind of interesting. Didn't realize that in the first go around. I'm just gonna put this down to add an extra layer because it is getting a little wet right there. All right, who's up next for our comparison? We'll go to Cruisin' Lightning McQueen, wrong tank bud. There you go. Oh, see, my thumb is <laughs> my thumb is cold, I guess. Right, here we go. So obviously not metallic, but still wanted to do the comparison. They are actually a different model. The color changer seems thinner and longer. Yeah, he is. This is a Tylen release, by the way, in my right hand. Got my thumb. It must be freezing. Look at that. I'm giving him a rash. Jeez. Okie dokie. Bobby Swift. Oh, there are the bubbles. There are the bubbles. Okay. All right. Bobby Swift is back there. I left him back there. Cool. So yeah, like I said, he is lighter than the die cast, which almost makes it a different color altogether. A very lavenderish purple instead of the more blue purple indigo. I like how they even maintain the orange trim around his gray rims. That's actually really nice attention to detail. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mattel. I don't appreciate the stickers though. Like that doesn't look good. That looks like it will get nasty and peel off real quick, real quick. But yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my color changer unboxing. Let me know out of these, which one is your favorite? My favorite, I really do like the king and how he changed. Let's get a little half and half going on him. Oh gosh, did you see that? It changed, but then it went right back quickly. Mm, I'm mixing up. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. I forgot. The darker one should be the colder one. That is what I need to remember. 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Ooh. Oh gosh, that did not turn out well. Come on, there we go. Let's get the back portion red. Ah, God, I'm just getting all these bumps, but I wanted to make it so like the roof is like black, but then everything else is red. Like I think that would look pretty neat. I'm trying. I guess that's the best we'll do. That looks pretty good. And then cruising McQueen. Wrong tank, bud. There we go. Give him a little bit more. Nice. It's like a striped McQueen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite down below, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye now.